Hey guys, and welcome back to Bad Visas. I'm Natalie. And I'm Will. And in today's video, we are in Charleston right now. So we're hitting a Goodwill store yes. and then the bins mm -hmm. right after. It's right next door. Yes. We're going to buy things cheap, sell it high online for a profit. So let's go. Get wheel. Let's go. It just rolled out this new rack. Rottweiler. I don't know about that, but somebody just donated all of their military gear. Oh, these are new with tags. Coat man. I'm going to try to look these up. Especially the pants. Oh, we just sold some of these. Massive flame resistant. And ours were plain. And I think the camo ones were a lot better. Hopefully this is another one. Air Force. I know this is a pickup. These are like super heavyweight in the digital camo. Oh my God. Park Extreme Cold. I think we sold one of these for like a hundred bucks. Oh, what are these? Regular. Some fake military camo. Hey, Nat. Oh my God, more military. More military. Same stuff. You wanna look for the patch, just like the parka here, where it tells you exactly what it is. So this is the Extreme Cold Weather Generation 3 Layer 7. If these wind up being something, we hit the jackpot, but I'm keeping my hopes very low. Rothko Ranger vest. I think that might be like a shooting vest. I'm definitely going to look that up. If you enjoy our content, go ahead and click that thumbs up and subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And it does really support our channel and we really, really appreciate that. Check out these shoes. Some Nike Airs. What the? These are so busted. Like, what is this? It's uh, how, uh, how are you still selling these? How's the other one? Oh, that one's a little bit more intact. <laughs> yeah, this one's fine, but this <laughs> a dog actually got to this one. I was walking to get a cart over there. These just stopped me in my tracks. South Pole at the end. The light, like acid wash fade with the little distress look. Easy $40 here. Booyah. So I was just walking around in the hard goods section, just trying to see if I could see something that caught my eye because they basically have a little bit of anything, everything and nothing in here. And to my surprise, I found a pair of boots here that someone must have changed their mind and left here. What? We got some Sorel waterproof boots. Sorel is an overall good shoe brand to be on the lookout for. Now, 
As most brands, it is model dependent, so I decided to use the Google app to take a photo of them so I could get the exact model name. And luckily for me, the exact model popped up. These are called the Sorel Emilia Conquest Combat Boots. So I used these keywords to look it up on eBay to see what they're actually selling for in pre-owned state. And these are selling for around $50 to $65. Definitely a great flip from $6.99. Now mine did have some more wear than the ones that sold here. So I'm going to price mine a little bit lower. So we're just going through the items right now. And remember, Will found this massive flame resistant camo pants. I just look at this one. It feels identical. There's nothing in here besides the little hanger. Then I look inside. Boom, we got the matching jacket. So the pants, about 60 something, and that's with bidding. Normally matching sets do better than individual like pants and jackets separately. Wow, that is nice. So someone has their set for about 180, 16 people watching. Wow. Let's check the jacket. Wow. Bolo brand, massive. Holy cow. So update on the Parka Extreme Cold Weather Generation 3 la Layer 7. 40 listed, about 140 sold. Wow. We're gonna get between 100 and 150 dollars for this bad boy. And then with these guys, you just wanna make sure that the packable hood is in there. I feel it. Just undo that and it rolls out. Oh, this one doesn't even unzip. Okay. Heck yeah, looks clean. Thank you, my assistant. Wow. Okay. You're ready for some extreme cold. <laughs> all right, so all military items. Yes. Crazy. I'm just here. Nat, why aren't you recording right now? <laughs> I should be in my glory over there. What do we call this type of haul, Nat? Quality. Not quantity. Quality. Quality. So we just stopped at the retail store. Right next door, we got the Goodwill bins. We're just going to pop in there real quick, see what's happening, if they left us any goodies. All right, so we go into the Goodwill bins and not really having our expectations up because it's around 4 p.m. As you can see, there are not a lot of people here and the bins are kind of empty. These are clearly old stuff that have been here for who knows how long. At this time, we don't know how these bins work, how their rotations work or anything like that. So we're just kind of going with the flow. And uh, as Willow was trying to show me a pair of shorts that he found, we saw that they were bringing out some new bins. But they didn't rotate the entire aisle of bins. It was just a singular bin on a few different aisles. Kind of weird. So now people are gathering up at the particular bin that they are the most interested in. In this case, it seemed that most people were interested in the shoe bin. We weren't able to film while going through the shoes when they gave the green light because we needed all hands on deck. But as you can see, there's not many shoes left. Those shoes disappeared quickly. Oh yeah. Hello. I found one. There was one inside the bin. No. I bet these are, if they're real, they look pretty official. You Whoa. think somebody, like an amputee? <laughs> it's a thought. Some Rocky boots wow. with the camo. Wow. Vibram soles. Those look nice too, like in good condition. And then, uh, found some just done. Holes. It, it looks a little I don't know. fake. It looks a bit fake, yeah. Yeah, you see the stitching attached. Yeah. yeah. But that's a good bowler brand to be on the lookout for with sports teams and stuff like that. But there are fakes. Just look at the stitching. Let's see what Miss Natalie found. I got a pair of Salamons. Nice. A little wipe down. Yeah, Contra Grip. I'm trying to see. On the inside, I think it says the name. No, 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 no. On the right there. Oh. X Ultra. X Ultra. They look good condition too. Oh, these look a bit dirty. I just seen 
Those are pretty. Like they, yeah. Uh, they might be able to wipe Maybe? up guys. Yeah. Because these are the, uh, the Air Force Shadow that I have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But these are like different colors. For a couple bucks, might be worth it. These can, because this is the type of fabric that can really clean off well. Yes, agreed. The magic eraser. We need uh, to get more magic erasers, by the way. But wow, we just, we just yeah. walked in at the right time. Let's go. Oh, I thought they were done doing rotations. We just popped in. 169 per pound. Nice. And these are about two pounds. I'll take it. I'll, it's worth the risk. Yeah. Just like with a lot of bins. Oh, there's oh. another one. Here it is. <laughs> Wrecked, yeah, that's not even a good model, but yeah, there's a lot of one shoes. But this Goodwill actually does it well keeping two shoes together. You can see they're tied up with a uh, elastic band, but yeah, they might be taking out even more new racks because they removed that rack at the end. Get on. So we didn't even hear a go or anything and we were clearly out positioned and just way too late to grab the on clouds that someone else immediately snagged. So although we lost out on the on clouds, we still found a few of the pairs worth mentioning. So never heard of this brand, Trask. What caught my eye was the Vibram sole here. Yeah, look um, at that logo. Yeah, exactly. Quality feels very nice. Yes, very. So we got that. Got some nice Colt Hans. I was trying to find the act. Grand. Just Grand? Grand Dose. Grand Dose. I don't know. They have some wear on the bottom, so we'll they, see. They still look clean. They do. It's not like you're going to be running in these. Right. Then we got another Tresk. Again, haven't looked this brand up. Right. But this one has like the Fur lining. inside. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Yeah. And then we got some Solos that are throwbacks. There was one pair of on clouds that distracted everybody for us to grab the other stuff. Yeah, update on uh, the Kohans. That's obviously in zero, so it's zero grand. And it says it right there too, zero grand. We've sold these before and they should be around $40. So definitely not bad. These are also light, these are less than two pounds. The Tresk, we should also get right around like 40 to 50 bucks. Yeah. Not too many sold. But a lot of the ones that were listed under wingtip weren't actually wingtip, yeah. so the sell-through rate is better than what it presents on eBay. Exactly, exactly. So in this condition, definitely picking these up. Yeah, those are so nice. Not bad for just quick popping. Popping. It's always the quick pop. I know. All right, guys, we are back. So we ended up with a total of five pairs of shoes slash boots, and it came to sixteen dollars. We think that it was going to be a little bit more. So we're not complaining here. But anyways, their their system seems to be a little bit different from the rest of the Goodwills that we've been to. This one, when they rotate, they rotate one bin. One bin. So everybody's crowding around one bin. Yeah. Not a whole aisle, one bin. Mm -hmm. Now, it is later in the day. We're going to be hitting this up tomorrow. So 
we'll see the if it if there's any change there exactly and also there are a couple of regulars especially one lady is definitely a regular and she runs the show there yeah so yeah. if you are in this area of charleston if you know who i'm talking about you know but she basically calls the shots and she gets to do whatever she wants to do yeah, yeah. but if other people do the same thing for example or running a little bit or trying to grab a shoe she gets pissed no one else is allowed but her yeah she can do what she wants to do but you can't yeah so it's a that was a, some favoritism i've never seen at a goodwill bin before that left a bad taste in my mouth how about them uh that camo stuff we picked up oh that yeah parka, yeah that's that good set so super excited to get that listed i know it's not the season for it but we're gonna get it listed asap it's cold somewhere you know <laughs> yeah Either way, we didn't think that the Beans was going to provide this late in the game. No. So we're kind of shocked and no clothes because it was just the uh, leftovers. But in terms of the shoes, the new Beans, we're pretty happy with that. Oh, yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.